Hi everyone! How are you all? Welcome back to Wang RV channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Let's go for another lesson. Today's lesson is Converting Scientific Notation to Standard Form. This is the second part of our Scientific Notation lesson. So how do we convert scientific notation to standard form or real number? First, we have to determine if it's a positive or a negative exponent. So let's deal first with the positive exponent or the positive power of 10. Method 1. We can multiply the decimal number by 10 raised to the power indicated. Example. We have 5.146 times 10 to the third. Note that 10 to the third is equal to 10 times 10 times 10, so that means it is equal to 1,000. This would mean as well that you have to multiply 5.146 times 1,000. And what will we get? We'll have 5,146. So that's the first method. Converting scientific notation to standard form when you are dealing with positive power of 10 or positive exponent is you have to multiply the decimal number by 10 raised to the power indicated. So take a look at the example I have given so that you could also try this example. So try this, it's your turn. Convert the scientific notation to standard form by multiplying it with the power of 10. You ready? You can start. 9.402 times 10 to the 4th power. So, try to multiply that with the power of 10. And don't forget that the exponent indicates how many times you multiply the base by itself. Are you ready? All right, let's check your work. If you have written 9.402 times 10 to the fourth, it means you have to multiply the 9.402 with the power of 10, which is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And that is equivalent to 10,000. Multiplying 10,000 with 9.402, means you get 94,020. Did you get it correctly? Great job! So let's now move on to the second method and how to convert scientific notation to standard form or real number. So we are still dealing with the positive power of 10 or positive exponent. The rule is move the decimal place to the right. An example is this, 9.8765 times 10 to the 7th power. So remember that we are moving the decimal point 7 places to the right. Because the exponents say so, that we are moving 7 places. So if we do that, you could say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? However, there's no more number after 5, so that is automatically 0, okay? So we can add 0, and then we could just put the decimal point after the last 0. So then our answer would be 98,765,000, all right? I hope you get that. have another example of on how to convert scientific notation to standard form or real number and still with positive power of 10 or positive exponent. An example here is 1.23456 times 10 to the fifth power. So remember, since you are multiplying by the positive fifth power of 10, we have to move the decimal point five places to the right. So uh, the decimal point is between 1 and 2, so we are moving uh, from that decimal point going through 
two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, right? So that means the decimal point is after six. That is why our final answer then is 123,456. And that's it. Now it's your turn to try. So remember, I have given you an example a while ago, so just follow the example and you could make it. So convert this scientific notation to standard form by moving the decimal point to the right. I'm giving you 30 seconds. Go. Ready? All right, so please do write first the number, so it would be easier. And then we'll just have some space here because we'll be moving to the right. Okay, so go along with me. Let's count. There should be six places, right? We have to move six places to the right of the decimal point. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to add more zeros. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And since we don't have any more number after 5, we just have to add 3 more zeros. Okay, and then we'll just put the decimal point at the end. So that means our final answer would be 8,765,000. Did you get that? Perfect. So let's now move on on how to convert scientific notation to standard form or real number when dealing with negative power of 10 or negative exponent. The rule is move the decimal point to the left. An example is 4.918 times 10 to the negative fourth power. So let's make a space before the number because we are moving to the left. So since it says negative 4, or the exponent is negative 4, we are moving 4 places to the left, okay? Starting with the decimal point, we can move 1, 2, 3, 4, all right? So, since there's no more number after 4, to the left of 4, so that means we could just put some zeros in there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So, we can put the decimal point after counting 4 places and then we can also put a zero after the decimal point. That's like to make it a standard way of writing. So that is why our final answer would be 0.0004918. Did you get that? I believe so. An example for you to try. 3.27 times 10 to the negative 3. So remember, when you are converting the scientific notation to standard form, you have to move the decimal point to the left. You can uh, refer to the example that I have given. I'm giving you 30 seconds. You're ready? You can now begin. I will be are done. Let's go. So writing down 3.27 and then making a space at the left of the number because we are moving to the left. So we have 3.27, then we have to move three places to the left. So one, two, three. So one, two, three. And then we just put the decimal point where we stopped. And then we could now put zeros at those spaces where we have moved places to. And then before the decimal point, we could always put zero. So finally, our answer is 0 0.00327. I hope you get that. So let's move on. So let's have another example for you to uh, try. So we've got 8.21013 times 10 to the negative 9. Can you do that? Of course you do. Okay, 
I'm giving you another uh, 30 seconds to try. Twenty seconds. So remember, if you have a negative exponent, you are moving to the left, and it says negative nine. So you are moving nine places to the left of the decimal point. Okay, ten seconds. All right, so let's check your work. So you have to copy that first. Eight point two one zero one three times ten to the negative nine, and then. We could move the decimal place to the left. And so finally, you should be getting 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 2, 1, 0, 1, 3. How did we get that? Because we moved from the decimal point that is after 8. So we are moving to the left. That is why we've got 8 zeros and then including 8 would be nine places all right i hope that's getting better to summarize what we have learned today let's remember these things to convert scientific notation to standard form let's consider if it's a positive or negative exponent if it's a positive exponent we can follow two methods first multiply the decimal number by 10 raised to the power indicated and method two, move the decimal point to the right. When we are dealing with negative exponent, we can move the decimal point to the left. Easy, right? So I hope that you have learned a lot. Before we end up, I want to leave this quotation with you. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. So it's okay to make mistakes sometimes, especially in math. However, Let's not uh, take that as a discouragement, but as a challenge for us to make better, better, and become the best. Finally, I would like to say you are one times 10 to the six, or one million times awesome. I appreciate you for watching this video. Thank you for watching, so don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe at the Wang Arby channel. And you can also follow me at FB Fan Page Teacher Wang Arby. Bye and God bless.